Shabbat Parshat Vayelech is the Shabbat that falls between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And it is known as Shabbat Shuva, the Shabbat of return. This is after the opening words of the Haftorah, the section from the prophets that we read on the Shabbat. Shuva Yisrael Ad Hashem Elokecha. Israel, return, come home to Hashem your God. It is a time that Hashem calls us to come home. And this is during the Aseret Yumei Tshuva, the 10 days of repentance, a very intense time in the Jewish calendar, a time that we're working up towards Yom Kippur. And in this particular Haftorah, we speak about the fact that, you know, we no longer have the temple. We no longer have sacrifices. In that case, what can we bring? What is the offering that we bring to Hashem instead of the sacrifices? And the prophet says, Unashalmim parim sefateinu that our lips will be in place of the cows, of the bulls that we normally would have brought in the temple. But today we don't have the temple, but what do we have instead? We have prayer. Now in the temple, when one brought a sacrifice, the sacrifice had to be beli mum, without any type of blemish whatsoever. Even if it had a nick in its lip or in its eyelid, it was no good whatsoever. Well, if our prayer takes the place of the sacrifices, our prayer also has to be Belimum, without any type of blemish. That means when one comes and stands in front of Hashem, you have to purify yourself. Naturally, your body has to be clean. The clothing that you're wearing has to be dignified. But your mind also has to be purified. Your mind and your heart. Because when it comes to prayer, it's not the words per se that are so important. But as the Talmud says, Rachmona liba boy. Ultimately, what Hashem wants is your heart. And that is why if a person, let's say, cannot speak for whatever the reason is, either they're, they're mute or they've had an operation or they're hoarse and they cannot say their prayers, they can still pray in their heart because ultimately that is what Hashem wants. And therefore the sages had many methodologies as to how about go, uh, doing this. For example, it speaks about the Hasidim Harishonim, the early pious people who had come an hour before prayer to prepare themselves to free their minds of anything whatsoever. This is very difficult for us in our generation. We're, all, we're so distracted. We have our devices all of the time. But I heard one rabbi give at least this little piece of practical advice. When you're driving in the morning from your home to, to shul during the weekday, don't listen to the radio. Don't listen to what the news has to say. You'll listen to that after shul. Because as soon as you listen to that, you get irritated, you get annoyed, you're listening to all of the, the bad things that are going on in the world, and you come into shul with this negative attitude and this attitude of distraction. Rather, come in, perhaps learn something quickly before you come. Calm yourself, gather your thoughts, because it's the heart that Hashem wants. And this is what the prophet is saying to us. Shuva Yisrael, return Israel to Hashem. And how do you do that? Use your lips, use your mind. Use your heart to act as a substitute for the sacrifices. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom and may you all be inscribed in the book of life.